Hey guys, welcome to Fiddly Fifi. So I'm still waiting um, for my landlord to come by and cut the grass. Most people see this as a burden, but I kind of see an opportunity. Um, in and amongst all these daisies that are super overgrown, I found this Chinese Wydelia, Wydelia, however you want to pronounce it, um, the yellow that you see here. Let me put this down. And I'm out here foraging for it. Um, the reason why I'm intrigued by this as a hairstylist is because this is good for a cough, for digestion. One of the things it said was lack of blood. So I guess, you know, if you have blood issues, uh, you know, and you need to thicken up your blood, this helps. But that lets me know that it has to do with circulation. And it also talked about hair loss. It talked about lice. It talked about um, digestive tract. So that lets me know it talks about hair, skin, and scalp. Dermatological issues. That speaks hair to me. So this is something I want to collect and do some research on. I'm super excited about it. Chinese Wydelia, Wydelia, however you pronounce it. Make sure you, when you're foraging, make sure you do everything you can to identify the plant. There are some universities. Some of them will have, um, whether it's students or whether some uh, particular individuals there that can answer questions. You know, there's so many apps. Um, I wouldn't just readily trust the apps. Uh, um, I would do double checks, double and triple checks if you don't really know. But when you're foraging, you want to make sure you get the best um, specimen. So, you know, you want to check to see what they're supposed to look like. Make sure the stamen is in place and stuff like that um, because you want the most beautiful ones. I have this paper towel in here just so they can stay dry a little bit right now. I don't want any moisture in there until I can dry them out or until I can figure out how I want to process them. But I'm super excited about this because I do have tons of people that have hair issues. Hair is always a big thing. People always want to know, how can I improve my hair? Let me tell you something, people. When it comes to hair, I don't talk about this on this channel that much because this is about plants. But plants and hair is a big thing. I use bergamot. I don't care to tell you. I use bergamot. I use um, rosemary. I use um, turmeric sometimes. I use castor oil from castor beans. A lot of the things I use in my scalp treatments have a lot to do with plants. So that's something I don't talk about and maybe one day I should talk about it um, to my fiddly fee fears because nutrition and hair go hand in hand. People don't wanna talk about that. Your scalp is skin, right? So when you talk to your dermatologist and you start talking about having skin issues, they do start talking to you um, about nutrition. They talk to you about drinking water, hydration. They talk to you about nutrition. Hair has to do with nutrition. Your blood flows through your body and that blood flow has all these vitamins and nutrients and things of that nature. Those things travel to your scalp and that blood flow those things that travel to your scalp and up through your body contribute to that hair getting pushed out. They contribute to your hair growth. Um, and people don't think about it and they don't like to talk about it um, a lot or maybe they don't know to talk about it a lot. But hair growth and nutrition is a thing. So if you're having hair problems and a lot of hair loss, I'm not telling you to go out and get some Chinese Wydelia. I'm just saying... I want to do some more research on this plant, but I do want to encourage you guys to start thinking about nutrition. Hair has a lot to do with blood flow. Hair has a lot to do with what you're putting in your body and on your body. It's not about just buying some oil and put it on there. It's not about just getting the best shampoo. It has to do with your nutrition, okay? So make sure that you are Paying attention to what you're putting in your body as well as on your body when it comes to your hair. All right. So, yeah, I think this is a good plant for me to do some research on and see if it will help some of my clients. My clients. <laughs> I might see that little bee's mad. 
sorry guy, some of my clients with their alopecia or some of my clients that have some dry scalp issues, some itchy scalp issues. Um, but when it says that lack of blood and digestive issues, that means it's going to be part of the circulatory system and maybe contributes to some of that. So I'm going to see what chemicals are in here. What is in this plant that can contribute to the circulatory system and maybe help with hair? All right, fiddly fee fears and what? Who's right on time? There he is to cut my grass. So I am blessed and I'm gonna get inside and dry out this Chinese Wydelia. This is how it looks. If you have this in your yard, um, there you go, look it up. And um, I'll let you know what I find. All right, guys. Love you. Bye.